Have you ever had loose pages that you need to bind together and you've resorted to paper clips or staples or possibly a ring binder uh, but haven't really found any of those satisfactory? I'm Macrina from Anessi Bindings and in this video I'm going to show you a very simple method of binding loose pages together. It's really something that anybody can do, not just for bookbinders. But it's a very useful trick that I certainly wish I'd known when I was a student and copying endless articles. What we need for this project is, well, I've got an article. I'm not sure how many pages it is. It's not very long. Um, that I want to bind together. Now, you could do this without a cover. As an example of something I bound together simply with the pages and a strip on the spine. But for this, I'm going to use my article and two sheets of, I think it's a 160 gram card. Um, it could be slightly thicker or slightly thinner. You could also print on it if you wanted to or do something else, some other decorative thing. But I'm just going to use these two. And then I'm going to use a strip of, this is really just craft paper, it was actually packaging paper that I've simply painted with acrylic paint on the one side to give it a slight colour, but that's not necessary. You could also use book cloth or wibbelin, which is a strong binding paper. Um, yeah, the possibilities are endless. The one important thing is that it is much better if the grain direction of the paper, of all the pages you're using, runs in the length. So you can tell the grain direction. I do have another video on that. I'll link to it. But if you gently bend the paper, you will see that it bends more easily in the length than it does in the width. And that means that the paper is in the length. Printer paper will usually be in the length. Um, of course, if you are wanting to, to bind it here, which sometimes one does if one has double page that you've copied or something, that is trickier. You can still do it, but it won't hold as well. Um, and then this should also, of course, be in the length. What I'm going to do is similar to what I did in the video on perfect binding. It's really using a double fan or a lumbat technique where you bind single pages together. But I'm just doing this in a much simpler way. And so I'm not going to, I could sometimes put it between in a press or between boards. But for this, I'm just going to get it exact and I'm just using these clamps to hold it in position like that and then I'm taking my PVA glue any PVA glue should do for this sort of thing um, as long as it's fairly uh, fairly flexible when, when it's dry what I then do is the other thing is that it's best for this if the PVA glue is fairly thick. So if it's thin, just leave it out overnight and, and it will thicken. What I'm going to do then is I, hold, I, I pull this up so that the pages fan out. This is where the name double fan comes from. And I hold it and I simply moving in that direction. I put glue on. It doesn't really matter in this case if you get a bit on the side because that will be covered by the strip we're going to put over it. And then once I've done that, I turn it over and I pull it up the other way. This isn't, you, you could probably get away with just doing it on the one side for, for this sort of thing. Um, you don't want to have 
too much glue, but you do want to make sure that it's spread evenly, fairly evenly, over all the pages. When you've done that, just run your fingers along to close it in. You can put it aside for a minute. Always have a damp cloth to wipe the glue off your fingers. And what I'm going to do now is glue the back of my strip of craft paper. I'm just going to, I should have actually done this before, mark, mark, let me bring this in. I'm going to mark the edge so that I roughly know roughly where, um, no, I could have done this more accurately, accurately to start with, but just to make sure, get, make sure that it's roughly even on both sides. And I glue the Right. Uh, and then take my text. I've got it on something else so that this won't be directly on the mat. And I position it to roughly where I'd marked, just over the marks preferably. Rub it lightly. And then turn it over and simply pull it over the back. It's then a good idea to, if you have a bone folder, to work it down well. On both sides. And you can also back. So there we have that. What I would do now is just put it under a board with a weight and let it dry like that so that the strip does dry reasonably flat. And here we have the finished product. It's very simple, but it's a very easy way of binding papers together that allows you to open them out flat. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and share it. I'm afraid I've been very inactive recently, but I do intend to start making more videos and more specifically bookbinding videos in the coming weeks and months. So thank you for your support.